Hello everybody um, and welcome to the Four Liners where Elsa who shoots and edits all these videos is going to show you behind the scenes of um, ski racing and the weird world that that is. Um, I'm David Christie, I'm a Scottish ski racer from Scotland. Um, I'm on 39 fist points at the minute and the goal for the season for me is to get down to around 35. I want to get sub 35 but in reality I'd like to be a little bit lower into sub 30, so 20 points. That would let me race in the Europa Cup, um, which is my goal for, for the future. You'll join us as we're on our way up to Belgium, to Pier, where a lot of us do the indoor skiing. It's really good because you can get lots of repetitions on a very similar piece, whereas in the, on the glaciers where we would all otherwise go skiing, it's, um, it's more variable with the weather and the conditions and it gets busy. So the, the indoor's a really useful tool for a lot of us guys. Um, yeah. Welcome. Hello, so we're on our way to Pio, Belgium for the indoor. We've got eight hours drive, but we're going to do it over two days because we don't want to be arrived there tired. So we're just stuck in some traffic. We've got 10 minutes till we find some lunch. We're going to get some lunch and then we are going to pick up Dave. After that, and then we've got another hour to the slopes. It's car four. Move your chin. Get some food at the supermarket. Here we go. Car four time. You're not getting me very looking very professional. Good morning everybody. It is times it five oh five and we're gonna go skiing. We've got our first session this morning at six to eight. It's an early one but a bit um, unpleasant but it is what it is. Let's do it. I'm going to quickly explain how they make snow inside these domes. So they have to get the temperature to about minus six. They then have these big snow guns mounted on different parts of the slope. They pump through the water and it creates a cloud of kind of tiny ice particles. Then when snow crystals form around the ice particles, it then falls out of the cloud and onto the ground as snow. We're 
in the indoor first session. I've got a big camera in front of me and a bit uncomfortable, but this is what it is. Um, it's a bit softer today, the fridge doesn't be working quite as well as it's meant to, so I know I said we're going to ski on ice and lots of ice, but it's actually quite soft. Uh, we did a session this morning, a really early one. About to ski the course for the second session, so we did two hours of two sets of two hours skiing. Hopefully you can hear me and don't get copyrighted for this music. Two sessions done. The, the freezer wasn't really working, so it was a bit softer than I was expecting, but good nonetheless. Uh, the first session back is always a bit of a, a wake up call, but the second, by the second session, we're skiing a bit better, and um, yeah, the gates kept coming out because it's so soft, but hopefully tomorrow it'll freeze a bit more because they've fixed the fridge, the freezer, so um, in the indoor, so it'll be better, hopefully, and it'll keep getting better for the rest of the time we're here. Now I'm going to go play some spike ball, which is like volleyball, but off the ground on a circular net. I'm sure some of you have seen it before, but it's a good game. We'll play some of that, and then we're going to do some fitness as well. I'll do some fitness as well, some weights. Um, nothing too major, just keep it on top of it while we're skiing. Lots of classic songs on repeat all day, so it feels like you're going a little bit insane, but it's good. Could be worse music, that is for sure. Oh, death touch. Is he two metres out? That hit the rim. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is unreal. Yes. <laughs> Why are we on the floor again? <laughs> oh. Why is that going? What's that? 9 5. 9 4. So I played spike ball and I'm just doing a little bit of kettlebells, weights to sort of stay on top of that sort of thing. We are staying in a place called the Water Molen, which sounds an awfully lot like the watermelon in English. It actually means watermill, which is, sorry for the very shaking filament, it's not Elsa, it means watermill, which is where we are staying, the watermill. And when you try and find it on Google, there's about a million different places, so I get getting lost. Can you see those flies? I can't tell if you can, but there's f***ing loads of them. Covered in them. Swimming in flies. Um, yeah. I'm trying to get more comfortable in front of the camera. In front of people that are watching me. And I feel like an idiot, so 